Welcome to the car ride up to Nashville, Tennessee. Angela's driving. We got Cole back there and um, we're all packed out. We've been in the car for what, about an hour? A little bit over an hour. We've got, a, I think it's about an eight hour drive to Nashville, heading to Mikey's Fest. And we've got the minivan is loaded down. Me and Cole, we split a backpack, half each. Angela has seven suitcases in a duffel bag. 19 pairs of shoes. It's ridiculous. We do have a huge cooler full of uh, vegan food as well because Nashville is not known for being very vegan friendly. Uh, more to come, just wanted to check in and let you guys know how it's going. Thanks for watching. First day we drove up was a Thursday. We got there Thursday night and pretty late. And then we were all day Friday in the classroom setting, had a lot of really, really good speakers. That was probably my favorite part of this Mikey's Fest and every other one I've been to. There's only one that I've been to that we haven't had a day of speakers and only one I've been to without Angela. This is the first one though where we brought Cole or any other technician and that added a, a whole new dimension to it. Really fun to have an additional person with us on our team to experience what we do. So there's a lot of knowledge and different types of speakers on Friday and then this is of course Saturday and all the cleaning that we did took place on Saturday as well. This setup here you can see is Chandler Thompson and you can see his other technician Tyrese is helping to set up and kind of walk everybody through exactly what they do, why they do it. and we had a really good crowd uh, gather around for Chandler and here he is cutting off pieces of the upholstery fabric in preparation for a burn test. It's one of the things he does in order to identify the specific type of fiber before he starts to the cleaning process and what that does is helps him to use the right chemistry when he's cleaning it and not damage anything. One of the many reasons this Mikey's Fest was a lot different than several of the other ones I've been to is we had a lot more people than we really needed in order to accomplish all the cleaning. So it allowed for a lot more education and a lot more people to 
basically just slow down and take the time to showcase their specific skill set. Chandler's just happens to be fine fabric and we had several other stations set up around the house so instead of getting assigned to one specific team and kind of being stuck in that one area a lot of people were able to float around and kind of look at different types of cleaning, different types of tools that maybe they haven't seen before, different types of machine and test out different uh, chemistry and equipment as well which again it really enhances the total experience for everybody that came out and I think we had a total of about 140 people um, at this event which was a really good turnout. So this is this is this is 100 percent synthetic. It also melted. It's hard for y'all to see, but it's shiny. That's right. So this is a synthetic. So the wheels are never higher than bubble. They go lower for a padded, and then higher for a. Uh, oh, okay. So say I don't even know where it's at. Someone's been messing with it. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna come all the way up, and then I'm gonna come back down to my park. See, so yeah, I hit right there. I could put this on a table and be within thousands of, of uh, an inch. See right there? It's probably still just a hair high. You feel that? Probably has to go down a little bit. So it took the better part of Saturday for the cleaning of this house. We spent pretty much the entire day, got there at about 8 o'clock and set up all the vans and walked through the house. I'm walking around the outside of the house now so you got a good idea of the size. And again, this was a lot smaller than the first project that I went to in Minnesota where it was probably at least four or five times as much work and quite a few more people as well but that was the first one I went to. I think it was close to two years ago now. So, But again, that's the new 870. That's Rick Aranda. And it was really cool to meet a lot of the different cleaners and reps from all over the country that fly in and also introduce them for Cole to get to meet him as well. And this is Chandler's van known as Godzilla. And it is a Gorilla box truck, which I'd love to get eventually one day. It has a really cool setup there. You can see with all the, chemi the chemicals that he uses, and that, of course, is the CDS 4.8 direct drive system that we have as well. His is just a whole lot newer. So here's another really good shot of Chandler Thompson and his other technician, Tyrese, kind of working together. You can see he's got his table, his little stool that he sits on. He puts in his little headphones for the music as well. But this was a neat environment because we had, as you can probably see and maybe recognize some of the other cleaners there, but there's Miles Mays and his father, Chad. And it was neat because as he was cleaning, he was explaining what he was doing and also kind of an open forum for questions as well because Chandler, although he does uh, clean a lot of rugs and carpet, he pretty much specializes in fine fabric and upholstery. In the Atlanta area, he's actually ranked as the number one cleaner in that area. and usually stays booked out for around two weeks so it's a really neat um, guy to learn from and kind of figure out what he does and why he does it. He's also been to probably more educational classes than most people that I know in the industry and here's Tyrese is walking us over to what would become the drying station. We just set up a tarp and some air movers so that when we get done cleaning one of the cushions we were able to set it here and speed up the the drying process for those as well. 
the first Mikey's Fest that we drove to was in Greenville, South Carolina last year, and Angela and I drove out there, and of course I was able to bring my hoverboard because I wasn't flying on a plane. So that went over really well. We decided to bring that back uh, for this trip also. So here's a little footage of me using uh, Trinity Trinity Systems, I think, is the name of this tool. And they actually auctioned one off. Unfortunately, I did not win, even though I really thought I was going to win it. But this is a low moisture, a very low moisture cleaning system that's probably the industry standard, one of the best machines built. And of course, I'm just goofing off with my hoverboard. It's the only time that I really used uh, the hoverboard while we were at this house just because there's a lot of stairs and I didn't want to hoverboard up and down the stairs. So. You don't have one of those machines? Not yet. I'm about to win one today, though. So. Yeah. You did, you, did you did that pretty good. Can you flip that back up on its head? Yeah, you bet. What's up, bro? Great. I'm going to wait for you to show up there. I'm just getting started. Dude. Wait till no, I'm just getting started. started. <laughs> Did you do a car wheel? He don't even own the machine. He did it one hand and don't even, and don't even own the machine. That's how easy that is. Yeah, this is incredibly easy. Here we have the purple haired bandit, aka Angela Udy, operating the zipper super spinner, which we actually have a zipper. I think I got it for Angela for Valentine's Day a few years ago. It didn't go over really well, and I don't recommend buying one for a gift idea for your spouse. Zipper spin. We got Courtney Lee here. Must be lunchtime. He finally showed up. Finally showed up. Lunchtime time. He even had to work. Now he's leaving here. Where's that? He had to watch this. You the work. Yeah, that's a good sight to see, isn't it? Sexy. You know, you got the purple on there. Is that for her? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Courtney Lee has obviously developed a little crush on Angela. I got mountain for the butter. Right now. Sadly, this was probably the only little bit of legitimate cleaning that we did all day. Here we are cleaning some bathroom ceramic tile and grout. The first cleaning we did on this, we used an alkaline preconditioner and scrubbed it in with just a hand brush or grout brush. And you can see Brent going around the edges still while I'm going ahead and use the spinner. And I, we did end up using an additional uh, solution that was acidic and we're able to get better results. And that's a new product that Mark Sager is coming out with. It hasn't even been released yet. It worked amazing. All right, we're heading home to uh, St. Mary's, Georgia. Was in Nashville, Tennessee for Mikey's Fest, and it's all wrapped up. So, uh, Cole, what what did you think? What was your favorite part? It was awesome, man. I really like watching Chandler. I feel like I learned a lot about upholstery from him, and uh, I know now I can clean stuff while I'm on the hoverboard. Yeah, awesome. just don't be start burning stuff when you go up into people's houses, okay? Yeah. So I'll do the burn test. You just stick to cleaning. Right. Angela, what was your favorite part? Oh, meeting Darren in person. Meeting Darren, the redneck Hickman in person. Yeah, that was awesome, hanging out with him and DeAndre Soap Daddy last night. My favorite part, though, probably had to be uh, a tie between Miles Mays, his talk he did on Friday, or Peter Gregg, the famous YouTuber also. Peter Gregg was awesome. Yeah, Peter Gregg was awesome. Very funny. Loved being in his... Um, in his little show or whatever but thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this i know this is kind of a long one but in lieu of doing the last few days of daily vlogging we've just put it together in this one episode so i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did leave a comment below of your favorite part and we'll look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow